This is the tutorial for multiplying a decimal by a decimal using a model. So we're going to be using the hundredths grid again. We use that with decimal by a whole number, multiplying decimal by a whole number, but this is a little bit different when we have a decimal by a decimal. So when we think about multiplication, let's just use a whole number by whole number for me to model this. So if we had three times seven, we could say that's three of sevens. Three of sevens is 21. So if we think of multiplication as the word of, we would say six tenths of three tenths. And that might make, hopefully, what we're doing, the model that we're doing today, make a little more sense. So what we want to do first is color in six tenths of our hundredths grid. Remember, one line is a tenth, one square is a hundredth, one entire grid is a whole. So when we color it in, we don't color in each square individually, we just draw a line through them. So let's show six tenths on our hundredths grid. There's our six tenths. Now if we wanted to show three tenths of six tenths, what we're going to do, and I'll use a different color to model this, we're going to do the other factor horizontally. So we did the six tenths vertically, the lines went down, and our three tenths will be horizontally, so the lines will go across three tenths. So then if we said what is three tenths of the six tenths, those are the lines where they, those are the hundredth squares where they both cross over. So we would just want to look at these squares right in here because they both, both our lines are in those hundredth squares. So if we count those, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We have 18 hundredths. So the product of six tenths times three tenths is 18 hundredths. So three tenths of the six tenths is 18 hundredths. So let's try another one, and at any point, if you have your own hundredths grid that you want to pause this and try it on your own, go for it. So we want to first do our 8 tenths, and we'll do that vertically. And remember, it doesn't really matter which one you do first because the commutative property, you can flip-flop it. 4 tenths, 5 tenths, 6 tenths, 7 tenths, 8 tenths. And then we want to show four tenths. One, two, three, four. So the lines where they inter, they both, the hundredths squares that they are both in, we want to count those. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. We have 32 hundredths. So 8 tenths times 4 tenths equals 32 hundredths. Now this one's a bit different because we have a whole number and a decimal. So let's do that first. So if you have a whole number and a decimal, do that one first. Let's do it vertically. So we know that we're going to, for, this, for the 1, we're going to need to put a line through all of these. And then we still have six tenths to do. Three, four, five, six. And then we want to see what is four tenths of this. So when we do this, you want to be careful to go all the way across because we want four tenths of this. So we're going to go like this. OK. And then what we want to do is count those up. So here we can see we have 40. And then here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. So we have 64 hundredths as our product. So the part to be careful here is don't just do the four tenths and one. It has to be of the one and six tenths, which is why we went all the way across to here.
So let's do another one like this. If you want to pause it and try it on your own, you can. So we have 1 and 2 tenths. Let's do that first. Do your larger number first. So we're going to go all the way over 1. Okay, and then our 2 tenths. And then we want to show 5 tenths of the 1 and 2 tenths. So 5 tenths. And you can go all the way across, but it doesn't really matter because we really just want to see the ones that intersect. We want to see what of what is 5 tenths of this amount. All right? So we just want to count the ones where they've intersect. So we know here we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. 60 hundredths. 60 squares, so that's 60 hundredths. And we have done a little bit of work with the standard algorithm, so you can also check your work with that by lining up the numbers, doing your multiplication. We have two numbers after the decimal, going over two, and there we have our 60 hundredths again. So that was a quick tutorial on how to model decimal by decimal multiplication using the hundredths grid as a model.